What would your message be to Labour voters, Labour supporters, who at the moment are sitting looking at the party saying, vote no, yet if you want social democracy and you want justice and fairness in society, then it Well, I think the Labour Party has to realise that it's got to rethink itself in a way that it has never quite rethought itself. And I think that shows the mirror on it, because <coughs> what is social democracy? It's about equality, you know, and this isn't, a, this isn't equal. You know, some people are more equal than others, and this is definitely not equal. It, it is the same of saying, and they're, they're afraid of Scotland losing their base. That's why Tony Robinson and Richard Wilson are getting on their high horse, because they see it will affect the Labour Party. My view is, in the long run, it may initially, in the long run it won't, because England will wake up, and there's still quite a, uh, there's still quite a strong Labour support within England. But the problem now is with the rise of UKIP, which is absolutely anti-pluralistic. It's, yeah. it's totally anti-pluralistic in its thinking. And the UKIP really means that what will happen is that uh, we will have no decision in the EU. Again, Scotland will have no decision yes. in the EU, which is something that historically we've always been European. These things are entrenched in a way, and they don't like to face up to it. The disparity between North and South is so huge, and the way London is operating. Now, London's never existed as part of England. It's never been part of England. It wasn't part of England when I was a student. It was London, and that was the great thing about it. It was independent. It was the swing in the 60s. It was the, land, it was the town of great social mobility. Everybody came there and did everything. It was short-lived because London then moved towards a capital which was based on property. And both Nigel Lawson through to Gordon Brown kind of sort of hammered this idea. And he for they forgot about our industry. They forgot about our base. They looked to, you know, middle-class property speculation, you know, as the kind of basis of who we are. And you go, no, it's not. We've forgotten about the little man. We always, always forget about the little man. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what Scotland does. It's always had a sense of the little man, because we've lived with it for long enough. They're going to ask the people, is independence best? I'm thinking, Bonnie Scotland, that the answer could be yes.